I'm Jeremy Podeswa and I'm a TV and film director. I was interested in movies and television my entire life. I was always interested in artistic things and movies and television were always an obsession of mine so I thought this should be something that I should investigate when I'm thinking about a career. So I didn't know anybody in the film business at all but I did go to film school and as soon as I started to make things I felt this is really the thing for me. It felt very natural to me. It's a very specific skill actually working on a show where you're coming in where certain things are established already. You have to you know, really kind of take that show and absorb it into your bloodstream in a certain way so that you have a kind of very intimate understanding of what the show is and then you have to be able to deliver on that in a way that's, uh, that's true to the voice of the show but also where you can bring something new and very specific to your own personality and your own taste and style. So it's always about kind of um, working with an established thing and then hopefully trying to elevate it in a certain way or make it more unique and specific. You know, each one has things that are very special about it and relationships that are really important and you know, sometimes it's easier to say it's just the last thing you did is the thing that's your favorite. Um, so I, c I could do that. <laughs> the last thing I did was Handmaid's Tale, which was a really fabulous experience. And before that, a new show called Here and Now uh, by Alan Ball, who created Six Feet Under for HBO. And before that, Game of Thrones. So, you know, they're my most recent favorites, I would say. On the lifestyle side of things, the complicated thing is always, you know, how to create a career, you know, how to you know, when you start as a creative person, you want to do something creative, and then how do you turn that desire into a job and then a career? So it's really just kind of thinking about your life in a way and your career over a long time, and you know that takes a little bit of work. And it's over time, it's not always so clear how you should proceed. So it's always making choices and you know trying to move forward always and move ahead and go up. But uh, those are challenges for everybody, I think, that are that are always you know a bit tricky. Game of Thrones is like directing any other TV show, except time is 100. <laughs> so it's like all the things that you normally have to do, you have to do a lot more of in a much more complicated way. So, you know, we shoot the show in three countries or four countries, so you're always traveling. Instead of a cast of maybe 10 or 12 people, you have a cast of 100 people. And instead of, you know, 30 or 40 extras for a scene, you might have, you know, 300 extras. And instead of having a living room set and a kitchen set, you have these massive, you know, you know, very spectacular kinds of things that you're dealing with all the time. So everything is like on steroids, it's just bigger, bigger, bigger. And, um, you know, it's the, the skill set that you use is very similar, but you always have to keep adding to the skill set on a show like that. So you do more special effects and more visual effects and more stunts and more, more of everything. So it's just kind of, um, you know, it, it, it is like doing anything else, but it's, it's just layers and layers of complexity, really. I think the main thing is always that find the thing that you love and find the thing that's very particular to you. You know, whatever arena of filmmaking is interesting to you or that you have passion about, that's the thing that you should really do. And I think it's also important once you find that thing to, um, to really try to get very specific in terms of finding your own voice and the things that you want to say and the things that speak to you and that you want to share with other people if you want to be a director. If you don't want to be a director, then it's just finding that, that area in filmmaking that is really your obsession, your passion.